Today we're going to be breaking into that eighth roll. If you guys are enjoying this series, I encourage you to subscribe. It would mean a lot to me. Uh, if this is your first time watching one of my videos, check out the other ones of this series. I found some key dates, some steel scents, some Indian heads. But anyway, let's get right into this roll. We've got a 1945 out of San Francisco Ender and a 1917 Philadelphia Ender. Let's get her open, see what she's hiding. Alrighty. Right off the bat, I see no steel scents. That one there, possibly. Let's take a little sneak peek, shall we? No, that is an Indian head, not a steel scent. We have to wait our turn to get there, though. Let's see what we've got here. We've got a 1917, the Ender, the 1917 Philly with 196 million. And next, we've got a crusty look in 1944S, a 1944S with 282 million. I'm only going to pause and go over the key dates to try and streamline the video a little bit because I fall asleep watching my own videos, so I can only imagine what it's like to be you. Here we got a 1919 out of Philly, the 1919 Philly with 392 million. Seen better days, folks. Here we've got a very crusty look in something or other. Very crusty 1936 Philadelphia with 309 million. And the next one is a 1956 out of Denver. The 56 Denver with over 1 billion. Get out of here. Get out of here. Next we got the 1954 out of Denver. The 1954 Denver with 251 million. And we got an older looking one. What is it? A 1947 San Francisco. So I guess it's not that old, but it's still plenty old. The 47 San Francisco with 99 million. And the next one is a 1920. 1920 out of Philly. The 20 Philadelphia with 310 million. And the next one out of our roll is a 1939 San Francisco. 39S with 52 million. I really wish that was a Denver, but it's not. Sad day. 39S. Still only 52 million, though. I guess I cannot complain. Moving on to the next one. We've got a 1954 out of San Francisco with 96 million. A lot of S mints in these rolls. A lot of S mints. We got a 1936 San Francisco. The 36th San Francisco with 29 million. I would consider that a key date or a semi key date. Like I said in previous videos, I really don't know the difference, but I will take that. That's going in my collection. Next, we got a 1945 Philadelphia. The 45 Philly with over 1 billion. You can get out from under my microscope. Over a billion for a wheat cent. Get out of here. Get. Next, we got a 1936 Philadelphia. The 1936 Philly with 309 million again. And coming up is the 1940 out of San Francisco. The 40 the 40s, 112 million. And next one is the 1954 San Francisco with 96 million. Moving right along here, we got a 1933 Philly, the 1933 Philadelphia with only 14 million. I was not expecting that. Moving right along, I was not expecting a 14 million. It is a 1933 out of Philadelphia. Not in the worst shape either. I mean, seen better days for sure, but I've seen worse. I will definitely take that 1933 Philly. Pleasant surprise. And we're moving on to a 1952 out of San Francisco with 137 million. Kind of disappointing. And going on to the 1937 S. The 37S with 34 million. Another key date. I will definitely take that. Got some crusties around the date, but what do you expect being circulated for like 90 years? I only hope to look so good when I'm this old. We got a 1937S. I will take that. I will definitely take that. And going on to 
1925 S. The 25 S. 26 million. Wow, this roll is really producing. 25 S. With 26 million, folks. That's three key dates in like four pennies. I'm impressed. Hopefully we didn't just, you know, get them all on this end and the rest is just common dates. Well, what? No, no, no. We got that, uh, we got that Indian head in there. I forgot about that right there, right there. Let's get moving, shall we? So we can eventually get to that. We got the 1948 out of Philly. 1948 Philly with a 317 million. And now we got a 1929, 1921 S. The 1921 S has 15 million. Wow. That is another key date for this roll. The 1921 S with 15 million. I mean, it has seen better days for sure. But I will definitely take that. This roll is really producing the key dates. I almost want to go a little slower. Let's get into the 1952 out of San Francisco with 137 million. Get out of here. You can't top that stuff. Get, get out from under my microscope. Disgrace of a wheat penny. Just kidding. Now we got the 1954 out of Philadelphia. 54 Philly with 71 million. And now we got the 1954 out of Philly again with 71 million. And what are you? You look a little older. We got a 1936 out of Denver. The 36 Denver with 40 million. That's a semi key date. I will take that 90, 1936 Denver. Seen better days. Very marked up on the reverse. Weed ears showing quite a lot of wear. But it's a key date nonetheless. 1936 Denver. Moving on to a rather healthy look in 1954S with 96 million. We're getting down there, getting down to that uh, Indian head. Now we got the 1946 San Francisco, the 46S with 198 million. And now we got the 1930 out of Denver, the 1930 Denver, 40 million. Wow. This roll packed full of uh, vintages less than 50 million. We got the 1930 Denver now. What is this, like our fifth key date? I don't even know how to react anymore. We're getting them so often. I will definitely keep that. 1930 Denver. To add to my collection. Next is the 1948 San Francisco. And the 48S with 81 million. And coming up on the 1947 out of Denver... The 47 Denver with 194 million. I can't even get excited about the common dates. I mean, they're wheat cents, but I can't even can't even show excitement because we're finding so many key dates. Now we got the 1939 out of San Francisco. The 39S, 52 million. I would almost call that a semi-key date, but if you want to get all technical and correct me, you go right ahead. There it is, guys. There she is. The 1887 Indian Head Penny. 1887, 45 million. Not the lowest mintage for the Indian Heads. But she's plenty old. She's showing it, though. She's got some wear, got some crust. It's always nice to find an Indian Head, though. And next is a 1937 out of Philadelphia. 1937 Philly with 309 million. And coming up is the 1950 San Francisco. 1950S, 118 million. Come on, key dates. We got a 1935 Philadelphia with 245 million. That's not really what I asked for. Roll. Don't let me down in the last half. Come on. The 1924 Philadelphia. 24 Philly with 75 million 
And now we got the 1951 out of San Francisco with 136 million. Come on, come on, come on. 1930 out of Denver. 40 million. That's what I'm talking about. 1930 Denver. It's got some contrast going on there. Some crusty crustles. Some crustles. Yeah, that's what we're going to start calling them. Crustles. Anyway, makes it easy to read the worn writing with that darker dirt or whatever you want to call it. I will take that. 1930 Denver. And moving along to a 1957 Denver. The 57 Denver over a billion. Get out of here, 57 Denver. Get. Now we got the 55 Denver. With 563 million. I mean, that's a little better. But I think we can do better, Roll. I think we can do a little better. You got my hopes up. Now we got the 1952 San Francisco with 137 million. I mean, we're getting closer to the key dates. Mintage-wise, let's keep that trend. Ooh, a 1910 with 146 million. I mean, not the most impressive 1910, but she's pretty old. I can't blame her for being a little worn. 1910. The back, the reverse, is actually not in bad shape. Abe's got some wear going on. His ears kind of just gone. Kind of gone. But, you know, 109 years old. That'll do that to you. Ooh, we got an old looking one. What is this? A 1920 out of Denver. 49 million. Semi key date. 49 million. That's what I'm talking about, Rule. I'm glad we had this conversation. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Rule, for more key dates. The 1920 out of Denver. Alrighty, 1945S, the 45S, 181 million. I thought we talked about this roll. I need more key dates. Need more key dates. Now we got the 53 out of San Francisco with 181 million. Ooh, we got a shiny one. Watch, this is gonna be the SVDB. I can already tell, I can tell, guys. 56 Denver, are you kidding? Over a billion. A billion. Thanks for the uncirculated common date. Thank you. Thank you so much, Roll. Now we got a 1958 out of Denver with 800 million. I mean, a little better. A little better, but let's be honest. Let, let, let's be honest, guys. Come on. Come on. Next is a, ooh, a 1918 Philly in rough shape, but... The 1918 Philly with 288 million. I mean, I mean, it could be in a little better shape, but whatever, whatever. Moving on to uh, 1947 out of San Francisco with 99 million, 99 million. Sorry, I thought I saw a steel cent or something in there, but now it's underneath those two. I'm not sure. But this is a 1945S. The 45 San Francisco has 181 million. I was seeing things, guys. There isn't even a penny under there. What am I talking about? I have no idea. Now we got a 58 Denver. Oh, thank God. 58 Denver with 800 million. This one looks a little old. Could this be our savior? Could this be it? Ooh, a 1926 out of Denver. The 26 Denver with 28 million. That is, in fact, our savior. Thank you. Thank you so much. The 26 Denver. Not bad. Not bad. 28 million. Maybe, maybe I've been doing this coin roll hunting the thing the wrong way. I just got to ask for the nice coins. And the roll produces. I mean, I, I don't know what else to say. This has been a great roll. We got the 26 Denver. Denver. Moving on to that Ender. At least I'm pretty sure this was the Ender. The 1945 F's. It was in fact with 181 million. I mean she's pretty but she's by far not my favorite coin out of the roll. Anyways I appreciate you guys watching. 
And if you don't mind, hit that subscribe button. It means a lot to me. Thanks for watching.